Yeah, I mean, I thought the schemes were super buttoned down. Can I say something about Kalani and and say Elisa? whatever you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I just think like they're like, I've heard, I've heard, you know, I talk to people, people who see me, they talk about BYU football, you know, and like a lot of things that I hear about Kalani and especially on defense is that like Kalani is a cool, he's the players' coach, probably a little loosey goosey, you know what I mean? And that's kind of been the perception. Dave Aranda at Baylor is probably, for my money, the best coach in the country. You know, aside from, you know, obviously I'm a BYU fan, so I'll put right. Kalani up there. But, like, if you talk to football people, like, Dave Aranda is extremely highly respected from the time he was at LSU, even at Utah State. Like, he, he's like a he's like a Bronco, but with better PR. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As far as, like, mm-hmm. just being disciplined, dialed down, schemes on point. BYU out Baylor Baylor. Especially in the second half. Like, our... Our DBs were smothering them. There was nowhere to throw. There was no daylight. And I just think that, like, I, I think it's time to, like, respect Kalani as, like, a real football coach, one of those guys. You know? that, I mean, that's exactly what I saw on, on, you know, I kept, especially in that second half, I kept waiting for the dam to break, you know? Like, yeah. dude, Baylor, you know, they're so physical. We're going to get so tired. And- We're going to get worn out. And it never did. You know, and that's super impressive just speaking to the type of guys that they brought in, the type of talent that we have, but also coaching. Like, they, the, the, our players are ready for that game, you know, and there's so much that goes into getting players ready. But I was super impressed, especially with this, the, the back half of the defense.